So it's a four ball on a glorious hot morning at the Marina Bay Golf Club in Singapore. This is a pass three, hole number five. 200 yards into the wind. Everyone is putting around the green or on the green. Uh, this guy in the middle of the screen, far, far away, lines up his chip or putt. He's really far away. This is a huge green. What can he do from there? I believe he is going for his birdie putt or birdie chip. And he hits the ball and it ends up way short, like 15, 20 feet short. Uh, now it's the other guy's turn. He decides to putt off the green. He's putting for par. And let's see what can he do. He hits, it's uphill. He's also way short. One downhill putt and one uphill putt, both way short. And this guy putts and he holds it. But unfortunately, this guy hit out of bounds and he took a drop for his fourth shot. And he, and that's, and, and he got five on, means he just hit a six. So back to this guy who hit the long putt short. He is putting for his par. He takes his own sweet time to line up the putt though. And there's another guy walking around looking for his line of putt. And the slow player finally decides that he wants to hit the ball now. He lines up his par putt, takes a little bit of a waggle. And anytime now, anytime now. Come on, you can do it. Anytime now. Yeah, hits it. And he overpowers it, lips out, and goes past about two and a half, three feet. And he decides to tidy up for his three putt bogey. Poor guy. Three putt bogey. Oh no, he lips out the other side. And he doesn't even bother putting it in for a four putt. And this guy misses his bogey, so he doubles it. So there's a double, a double, and a triple. So this is the last guy on. He hit two shots to there, and he has a par putt. He can take this hole easily if he... I think if he two putts, he'll take this hole. But he cuts it in.